you know literally just then like i sat down to record th this video right and i heard like the the, the faintest of knocks on my door and uh, before all the mentally ill brothers he's he's not getting to the point in the video yeah, let's give me one second okay listen you can you can watch some some little tiktoks in the background or whatever you need to get through it but one second i'll get into the point okay but listen um bro you, you know when like because i've got a dog right you, you don't probably know that you've seen him in the background sometimes you know if the knock is so pathetic it doesn't even set my dog off like like i said that's how you know it's it's, it's a weak knock you know uh and, and you might think oh what's he gonna say you know it was a, it was a delivery man you know uh more more beef with the with the fucking postman no bro i go downstairs this little this this police bro this this police at the door i'm thinking fuck but but here's the thing i knew i wasn't in any form of trouble because like i said the brother knocked like a bitch how can your knock as a policeman, you know, they're supposed to be banging down doors and all these things, be so pathetic that even my dog doesn't fucking hear it, fam. Inquiring about some fucking stolen motorbike. Fam. I don't fucking know. I wasn't even home yesterday. But yeah, um, that's why I let you know I'm, I'm still a free man. But it was obvious in that fucking weak ass knock, fucking. Bro, I, an actual child who would knock on your door harder for, for fucking, you know, Halloween trick or treat. Which, by the way, now as an adult, I think I've got to actually start being the supplier of, of you know, sweets and shit like that. Which I, I don't fucking know. Bro, that's a lot of pressure, actually. Because you don't want to be that house giving out shit food on Halloween. Do people even still go trick or cheating? I don't know. Either way, I'm waffling too much. Um, Point of today's video. Oh, yeah. You did not expect that to fucking hit. Uh, is is your controller? I think I made a a, a video kind of similar to this, like a, a like a while back, you know, like a like a long while back. So it's I think it's time to 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 get the newer generation as well, the Rider players, up to speed on the on the tech, which is, and I will try if I can to leave. Uh, but the thing is, it's always going to be different. Uh, basically, I mean, you can do your own research. Like I said, I will look though, just in case, to see if I can find like a maybe the video i used if it's still the same method or whatever to overclock your controller uh I, this also goes if you don't even have a controller you know the same goes you can overclock your monitor basically overclocking things if you want better performance or brawl if you're actually taking this game serious and you want to improve or whatever it's been known that you know to, to be good at brawl it's like you know one percent skill another one percent genes genetics as we've you know recently discussed i don't even talked about that yet but there's some dumb brothers in this community that think you, you know, you're born with the Brahala gene. Uh, and, and um, you know, 98% in that case, uh, fucking hardware, UFO, alien, spaceship setup, fam. And if you have that, good. Uh, if not, uh, I mean, any PC, any laptop, you can overclock your controller on, right? Keep in mind, I did just say any PC, any laptop. I know you can't do it on console. I have tips away from console too, in a, in a second. Um, which, okay, by the way we continue the video a little list of, of self-promotion okay i probably won't take that long subscribe join the discord uh potentially become a channel member even you know uh, if you feel like fucking riding it extra hard and that's it leave a like on the video even actually maybe you could do that just 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 fucking anything fam i would appreciate it um and yeah like i said let me continue um for me personally, and it's always going to be because, bro, not everyone's PC is the same. Not everyone's controller is the same. Not everyone's setup is going to feel the same. But like I said, for me personally, uh, I remember going from a non-overclock controller. And I've always, well, other than before PS5 existed, in which case I used PS4 controller. I've always used a PS5 controller for brawl, in case you're curious. Uh, and yeah, overclocking it literally felt like the same amount of, you know, improvement as going from like... 144 to like 240 hertz monitor like it, it was it was a big fucking difference overclocking my controller um so like i said definitely try to do that if you are able you know because like i said maybe, maybe you, you don't even have a pc in the first place or you know maybe i don't know your controller is not able. i think every single controller is able to be overclocked uh, the thing is uh, like overclocking has i don't know if it's like myths or if it's actually reality but you know it, it makes your hardware last you know less time there's a word for that that i'm i can't think of right now it lasts not longer but lasts shorter doesn't make sense either listen my brain when i when i press record on these videos out of fucking window uh, so don't question it but you get what i'm trying to say hopefully right uh okay i don't know how to, I, I can't kill this brother fucking hell 
How many spear recoveries does it take, fam? One, please. What the fuck is he doing? Okay. Uh, what the fuck was I even just saying, fam? Oh, yeah. But in, in my experience, like I said, bro, I've, I've always used, uh, you know, a PS5 controller. And every single one that I, I've clocked... Uh, well, yeah, since the PS5 has come out, I've only ever bought two controllers. I only had to replace one, and that's because the charging port stopped working. But I've never seen any degrada degradation. <laughs> Fuck it out, bro. That's not a word, is it? Yeah, listen. Uh, it's finished for me. It's fucking finished for me. Uh, but I've never seen, you know, my controllers get worse or, you know, last less time or whatever it is. But they've always they've always been fine. Um, so I, I, I would say, at least for controllers, I don't know about monitors. Like if you overclock your monitor, you know, maybe that actually negatively impacts it or something. But as for controllers, I, I can confidently say, at least with PS5 controllers, uh, and I, I doubt it would be any different with like different controllers, but yeah, they're, they're completely fine to overclock and it won't, you know, ruin the, the controller or anything like that or make it, you know, die quicker or... Oh, hold on, hold on. You're not doing that shit to me in my own video, bitch. Uh, I do need to win the game now, though, because he fucking tried it. Death? Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait, we're going to fucking lose. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Wait. No, it's getting scary. That didn't kill. Why did he not try and edge guard me there? Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm actually going to take an experimental L. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, shit. I can't fucking lose, man. Or else maybe you should not overclock your controller. I need to prove that it's actually a good thing. Hold on. One end light will hit, surely. Right? Oh, my. Oh, my days! Please. He's, he's, he's taking the piss as well. That's the thing that's pissing me off. He's taking the fucking piss. Yes! This should never be that close. That's Bakonko as well, fam. That's a legend in the European scene, if you didn't know. Oh, bro, I'm laughing at fucking Instagram real comments, fam. They're actually the best. Uh, IG real comments, bro, I promise you. It restores your faith, bro. Not everyone's a bitch anymore. It's, they're good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, um, fuck was I talking about, fam? I don't even remember, bro. That was the closest I've taken to an experimental L in... Bro, I don't even remember the last video I lost in this fucking game mode. Oh, this game's not off to a good start either, bro. I was fucking, I'm shook. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. If you can't overclock your controller or whatever, uh, like I said, other, other things you can do. Uh, and these are, these are very minor things. But, well, one is, and one is something that not enough people think about, in my opinion. Uh, and that is the fucking cable. Right, so, if you, there's, there's like transfer rates of cables, right? That's if you even use a wired connection. Uh, you should do research because like I said, bro, I, I can't tell you every single console, every single type of controller, you know, all these different things. Everything's different. Uh, but some controllers, some consoles, some, you know, whatever it may be, are different when it comes to, you know, if they're quicker wireless or they're quicker wired in terms of input delay. Um, so find out for yourself, first of all. If, if wireless is, is the quickest, then perfect. If wired is the quickest, then you need to see how fast, you know, your console or whatever can handle in terms of transfer rates. Uh, you know, different USB ports on your console or different USB ports on your PC can handle different, you know, rates of transfer. Right. So you need to then buy a cable that actually matches, you know, it what's the what's the word in maths, bro? It's been a long time since maths class, but it's the the fucking denominator, right? The, the highest common Bro, what the fuck is it called? Basically, let's say on your console there's a USB 2 port, uh, and and your controller can only hand can handle up to USB 3, you know. But then your your wire, you have like a USB 4 wire, right? I don't even think USB 4 exists. But then obviously because the console can only handle fucking USB 2, you're only getting USB 2, even though you've got you know a free controller and a four fucking. Do you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, I, for I, I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't even think USB 4 exists, but I've forgotten, you know? I, I figured all this shit out a long time ago. I sorted it out and I've never looked back, you know? But if you've never thought about this, then, you know, maybe you should. Like I said, only if you want. Because it's not even about getting good at Brahalla. If you play Brahalla even just for fun enough, it's like you will want the game to feel responsive, right? Even if it's not, like, for a competitive reason. So it's always worth sometimes, especially if it's not that much money. I don't think, you know cables and shit like that are expensive so you should be good just check what your console can handle the usb ports on your console i know on ps5s 
the front USB-C port can handle higher transfer rates than the, the back to just normal USB-A ports. So just shit like that. Go look it up yourself, you lazy fat prick. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what came over me. I didn't mean to call you a fat prick. But um, yeah, uh, the only other thing I can think of off the top of my head that would that would help uh, and you don't need any external factors for this one is is um changing just changing your inputs from because by default uh on controller you have dodge set to the, the trigger right lt on playstation or lt L lt on xbox i think it is okay well how the fuck did that shit hit me um so you change that to, to, to the to the bumpers instead because if you think logically here if we, you know we think about it, if our brains you know it takes less time to press in a bumper than it does a trigger right so you change the the dodge from lt or l2 to the lb or l1 for example then you know there you go you you're you're already your, your dodge comes out a little bit quicker it's just the small things you know but but they add up and then you know there you go uh Brahada starts feeling better which i would say you love to see but it, then it, it you know Brahada starts feeling better you start getting gas you start playing the game more and then you know you fall into depression so maybe it's not completely fantastic but um you know, it if it, it's, it's up to you, man. If you want to play Brahala that much, you know, you go for it, man. You fucking go for it. Uh, but that's that's it. You know, I think you can also buy trigger stoppers for that. But you know, like, would you rather just change an input on your on your controller in the game, or would you rather go and buy external fucking hardware? It's obviously. I mean, I mean, you know, once again, do what you want, you prick. Ah, well, okay. I'm sorry again. I don't know what keeps coming over me. Um. But yeah, other than that, I don't fucking know. Uh, my fingertips, by the way. Oh my goodness. Bro, I wasn't even going to record today because holding the controller, everything is miserable. I am. Um, okay, at this point on the channel, it's becoming a bit of a challenge to, like, don't talk about rock climbing. Larkhan doesn't talk about a rock climbing challenge. Failed every fucking day. Uh, but, bro, actually, I don't talk about it that much. Do I? I don't. I don't think it. I, no. Well... Shut up, okay? He touched? Okay, well, my game fucking lagged, so I didn't know. Um, But fuck, bro, there was this climb. I was trying it over and over again. I must have fallen off like seven times. And when when you fall off, like, it was a big jump, right? Right at the top of the climb. So I was, it's, bro, basically, it's fucking sandpapered my fingers down. Yeah, I didn't know fingertips could bleed until yesterday, where five of my fucking fingertips just started fucking pouring blood, fam. And everything is miserable. Doing dishes, one of the worst jobs on this earth. Well, okay. As I know there's going to be one brother out there. Ooh, coal mining. Coal mining is a worse job. Obviously, you know, walking for your water. Yeah, yeah. There's worse jobs, of course. Yeah. But, you know, fortunately for me, uh, doing dishes is probably one of the worst things I have to do consistently. You know how much more fucking miserable it is when you've, when you've got to do them without fingertips? You, you know, or, bro, even I made a, a, a nice, I made a nice bowl of porridge this morning. Yeah. And, and, you know, when I, when I went to fucking take out the microwave, take the hot bowl out of the microwave with my hands, you know, uh, and I'm taking it out with just my skeleton because I've run out of fucking fingerprints. Yeah, this shit did not feel nice. You know? Just hot bowls on my fucking bowl. Yeah, it is, dude. That's actually another reason I knew I hadn't committed any, any crimes when the police came. Because there's, there's no fucking, there's no fingertips left. I think it might be a sign. Actually, well, there's two there's two ways to interpret it, in my opinion. There's either one, take a take a rest, don't go climbing, uh, for for a few days, or two, go and go on a crime spree, go on a fuck, commit horrid, foul fucking crimes. Now, I'm not gonna say which one I'm gonna do, but you know we'll see. I can't lie, that's all I know. I actually, I love the the fucking sport because, bro, there's there's not a day where, you know, I've not got fucking oh, shit. When I hit my mic. I get filled with anxiety, fam. If you lot watch that fucking ranked video, then you will know why. Because, fam, it, it, this this mic for some reason has the potential to make noises you've never heard before in your life. Like, 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 truly. Like, if you try to create a more ear-piercing fucking noise, like you know how babies are designed, like their cries are designed to piss humans off, so they actually look after them. Yeah, it's like that, fam. But my mic, it piss piss content creators off. It's like babies, but for fucking youtubers uh anyway um what was i even just gonna say oh yeah bro there's not a day where i'm not i that shit not kill the fuck there's not a day where i'm not filled with with some form of fucking injury my tendons are all snapped 
You know, my, my fucking, my skin is torn on my hands, bro. I've got no skin left on my hands. You know, fucking muscles gone. Bro, it's it, always, always something wrong. My joints, bro. I, yeah, I'm going to have arthritis. But here's the thing. It's, I, I, I'd enjoy it so much that it's worth it, fam. I don't, it is, it is a bit crazy, you know? So I remember, well, bro, I used to play basketball every, every day for, is he good? Okay, good morning. I used to play basketball like every single day of my life for, for years and years. And I, other than one time I, I sprained my ankle, uh, I never actually, yeah, I never, no, nothing was ever wrong with me. Like I didn't have any ongoing injuries or anything like that. But you know, in the, how long, bro? Like seven months? No, not even seven months. It's actually not even fucking seven months. That's how crazy it is. Like less, yeah, less than half a year, fam, that I've been going climbing. Bro, the amount of injuries I've accumulated, fam. I'm actually collecting fucking injuries. Bro, but like like the, 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 the fucking physician is the Pokedex. Do you get what I'm saying? It's peak. Um, but yeah, actually, but none of them have been as bad as that fucking ankle sprain. That was like, yeah, that was bad, bro. I, I remember I went out for some rebound against some fat brother. You know, you should never challenge some fat brother for, for a fucking rebound when you're playing basketball. It's, it's never to end well. And I was skinny as fuck back then as well, fam. And I came down, ankle twisted in a way you can never fucking imagine. And then I heard a big pop, yeah? And my tendons, but yeah, done out, finished. But then the thing is, I was fucked. Yeah, I was absolutely finished. Yeah, but I, I don't think I've even told this on the on the channel before. Like I made it so much fucking worse for myself because I rested until I felt good again. Um, and then like I did don't I didn't continue to play basketball or anything because obviously not you can't do that. Yeah, I just I just sprained my ankle. Um, like I I teared the the tore the tendon in my fucking ankle and and I walked home on it. Like. Really and truly, I should have taken, I should have made use of the, the fucking UK. Okay, because the thing is, I lived, I would say I lived a 20 minute walk from the, from the, from the basketball court. And the, the hospital, like the, the big hospital in, like, like, basically this hospital is the hospital everyone goes to in my entire, like, county. Like, is it is like by far the biggest hospital, right? 10 minutes away. What did I do? I walked home and didn't go to the hospital. And then the next day, fucking hell i was like i tried to firm it you know i was young i didn't know like <laughs> obviously if you if you tear one of your yeah yeah it was it was bad um and i think i made it so much worse it's not like i walked home on it like fully like i had i think i did tell this on a channel before at some point i'm not sure but two of my two of my friends were like helping me you know what i'm saying like i had their arms around them and they were like I was using them as my crutches man um to get home but yeah that is not advisable. I would say advice to you most definitely if you, if you injure yourself, you injure your, your fucking ankle or something, you don't walk walk 20 minutes back on it afterwards. Um, not the best of ideas. But yeah, you know, I live in the UK. I could have just called a fucking ambulance and they would have just taken me to the hospital. I don't even have to fucking walk. Man. I've actually never been in an ambulance, bro. I should start abusing it. I should start fucking using ambulances like buses. Uh, sucks for you American brothers, man. Yeah. You call an ambulance, you're in debt for the rest of your life. That's actually crazy. I'm not even going to get into that, though. But, yeah, bro, I could never live in that fucking country. I don't know what's going on over there. You break a leg, bro, and you're you're actually better off just amputating the thing yourself, wrapping some fucking dirty dishcloth around it and just chopping it off than you are going to the hospital, bro. It's not worth it. Anyway, uh, I'll think of a hint for zooming in on, and I'll shout out the goats. If anyone gets this hint, I will actually be very impressed. Um, uh, the hint, the, the the first name of this legend, uh, is is um, what's the word synonym for horny? But I think like old British people use it. If you get it, I will be impressed. And then let me shout out the channel members: Moro, Mark Brandenburg, Eric Solcage, and Well, Pokey Sushi, Fish Sticks, Dude, Actimon, No Waffles, Ashbridge, Singh, Kenji. Joker, Equest, No Glory, Bargain Builds, Bachelor, Raspberry, Den and Jelly, Hegemony, X9, McD, Red Room, Lighter, Brandon Murray, Maxwell Podcast, Tech RT, Earthman MC, Pentacle, Ice, Wallow, Edit, Slush, The Cant, Atomic Rule, Luzio, Captain Low, Hammy, Awesome, Controller Mods, The Fat Melt, Andy Nocturne, Drunk Dog, Flashy, and Colorful Alchemy. Thank you all so much. You're fucking carrying me. Trust me when I say that, so thank you, and I mean that. I fucking mean it. Um, 
And everyone else, leave a like, subscribe. Extra special thank you to Red Bream and Random Murray for the Diamond Tier memberships. And until next time, hope you have a great day. I love you all. Judy and peace.